Hey guys, Lucian here from ASUS. NVIDIA has just released the GeForce GTX 1660 Ti series. And I've got three cards here that we've made that I wanna show you today. So we'll start off at the top end with the ROG Strix. Now the Strix basically has all the bells and whistles you could want. So you've got dual BIOS, you can switch between performance mode or a quiet mode. You have things like max contact technology, which means the heat sink and the GPU die sit as close together as is basically physically possible. It also comes with our top of the line cooling tech. So we have our Axial Tech design for all three of the fans. And this is best explained with the ring around the edge. And that ring actually catches air that would otherwise be just laterally dispersed and forces it down. So we actually get better performance compared to our last gen fans and it's quieter. So it's the best of both worlds. This is a really great fan design. Now, moving down from the Strix, we have two cards that are really for someone who's focused on cost to performance. The first one here is the Dual, and this has two fans, and both of them feature IP5X dust resistance. What that means is, even over years of use, you won't have enough dust particles that are able to make it inside the housing to negatively impact the performance of the fan. So, put your computer under your desk, Never worry about it again, all right? That's the TLDR. Now, moving all the way down, we have the Phoenix. Now, this only has one fan, but the fan is larger than the two fans on the Dual, and you're getting wing blade tech, and that's going to uh, add a little lip on the edge of the fan, a drooped tip is what it's technically called. And that's gonna basically increase the efficiency of each of those blades. So it's gonna outcompete other cards with a similar fan size that don't have the wing blade design. Now, all three of these cards are manufactured with our auto stream technology. This is an automated manufacturing process, which basically is a fancy way of saying they were created with robots. This eliminates a lot of mistakes that can happen from the manufacturing side and means that we're gonna have a lot higher quality compared to the competition. We do have another card. I, I don't have one here today in the studio, but we are launching a tough 1660 Ti. So if you have a tough gaming motherboard or you have a build that uses a bunch of tough Alliance components, we are going to have a tough 1660 Ti that you're definitely going to want to check out. Now, if you're watching on YouTube, I am going to put a link for the product pages to all of our 1660 Ti cards down in the description. And yeah, if you're watching, please give us a like, comment, or subscribe. I hope this helped you guys decide which card is right for you, and I will see you next time.